So, you want to hear my opinions on Mars, do you? I was going to take it easy on this fine Saturday afternoon, but let's head over. Here we are. Welcome to Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun, commonly known as the Red Planet, named after Ares, the god of war. It is half the size of the Earth and is the number one destination for scientists who want to make the human race a multi-planet species. And the reason for this is very simple. Out of all the planets that are within our reach, Mars is the only one where you could successfully land on the surface and not get scorched instantly by the sun or crushed by a high pressure atmosphere. Let's go down to the surface, shall we? Brrr, it's cold down here. And the reason why it's so bloody cold down here is because the atmosphere is 100 times thinner than the atmosphere on Earth, despite it being made of mostly carbon dioxide. Granted, it can sometimes get warm down here with temperatures as high as 20 degrees Celsius, but the average temperature is actually minus 60. Climate-wise, it's about the same environment as a desert on Earth. So you get another sunny day, and it will get freezing cold at night. For early scientists and astronomers, we imagine that Mars would be much like Earth. It would have at least some form of liquid water. But once we reached the surface, we were disappointed to see that the place is actually just littered with rocks and Martian dust. It is dry as a bone on this planet, and it is completely dead. But judging by its surface features, it must have had a very active past. Welcome to Olympus Mons, for example. This is the largest mountain in the solar system. It's 15 miles high, three times the size of Everest. And if you were to travel from its central crater to its outer edge, you're looking at a journey of about 300 miles. It's about the size of France. One can only imagine just how violent and destructive this volcano was when it was active. Now, this colossal thing here is called Valles Marineris. It is one of the biggest geological features we have ever seen. And to put this into context, this canyon, you could literally put San Francisco at one end and New York at the other. So this thing would actually span the width of the United States. It's very possible that Valles Marineris cracked open when the four volcanoes to its north pushed up, such as Olympus Mons, stretching the very skin of the planet. So this massive canyon is about three to four thousand kilometers across, about 600 kilometers at its widest and as much as eight kilometers deep. So Mars is a bit of an old fossil. It's had a history of rich geologic activity, but now there isn't much. It's more or less dead. It is very possible that Mars in its earlier years did have a rich oxygen atmosphere and may have even had some forms of life on its surface. Well, I've done a previous video about this on how Mars and Venus and Earth started. The reason why it's in the state it is now is because it's too small and it didn't have enough gravity to hold on to all the atmosphere. The colonisation of Mars is going to be very tricky. I should also mention one of the biggest challenges when it comes to terraforming Mars is it has no magnetic field. So it can't protect itself from the solar storms. 